purchased this cage and couldn't catch anything because the trigger mechanism was not made right on my cage and the different animals couldn't trip the trap because it was too stiff. So I had to modify my cage to make it work right. And I'll show you exactly what I did to the cage to make it work. As you can see here, he keeps hitting the plate with his foot and with his nose and it's still not springing the trap. Here's another example. Watch the right foot of this raccoon. It'll get startled and I don't know if it hits the plate or not, but it vibrates it enough and it still doesn't set it off. Now the other raccoon will come in the other end and they will eat all the bait that's in that trap without setting it off. Okay, the reason I have to have this cage is these grapes here, the raccoons are coming in and just tearing them up. So I want to show you exactly what I did to this trap to make it work properly. This piece here has a loop in it just like this. If you've bought one or seen them advertised, you'll notice that this piece here has a loop in it as well. That way this one fall off. Now I had to straighten my loop out because this arm right here isn't long enough. If it were longer and then had a loop in it, it would work. Because now it's sensitive and it works really well. But if I just go in there and touch it, it'll go off. Okay, this is a fly slot. Now it should work properly. And if they would have made this longer, it would have worked. But they didn't because you have to have this arm out here longer for it to actually pull this handle up. They had it so close that it was pulling straight down. So if you want to purchase one of these, be aware that you may have to alter this to make it work properly. So it's up to you. I hope the manufacturers fix this issue. If you do buy one and have to modify it, make sure that you get this arm up off of the ground because it will be laying down. There's nothing wrong with this cage. This cage is nice and solid. After seeing the raccoon step over the trip plate, it gave me the idea to make another addition to this trap. If you're not comfortable bending on your cage, grab some fishing line. Make a loop in it, tie it in a knot. Grab a paper clip, tie your fishing line to the end of a paper clip and put it about middle ways up here. You want the animal to hit this wire with its chest or this fishing line. Okay, what I did is I made a long rod out of a clothes hanger. Grab this string, pull it right through here. So I got it laying right here. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna open that loop up, set it where I need it. There we go, now it's nice and tight, not real super tight. So now we'll just have to wait and see what happens. So it didn't take long. That first night that I tried this tripwire, it worked like a charm. Can't believe how quick it worked. Okay, we'll reach in here and I'm gonna grab this string. I'm gonna pull it out because I'm gonna use both mechanisms this time. I'm gonna put this string on here really loose. I'm going to go ahead and take this off and I'm going to set it on there as well. I'm going to drop corn in there. If it don't step on the plate, it's going to hit the string and it won't matter. Because the coons are getting smart enough to where they know to step over that plate. Now check this little guy out. It scared him more than anything. It didn't hurt his tail. Okay, now you can really see the string going across through there. Okay, if I look through there, you can't really see anything. I mean, it's really faint. But if I shine a light through there, now you can see it. I ended up catching this raccoon that night. This trap's set to where you can open one door 
and let the raccoon out without having to open both doors and there he goes I'll catch him again later on and take him down the road somewhere yeah he's a growler first I'll go ahead and unbar the door then I'll go ahead and take the cable off the back door so that it does not open. Then I'll pull the lever and let the raccoon go. Works great. The next night I caught a smaller raccoon. The string trip wire works really great. Okay, during transportation, as you can see, the pins work really well. I'm going to take this right here off. So that only one door opens. Twist it down. Got to twist it, pull it out. Ready? Mm-hmm. Had to tape these two cables together right here because one night I caught a raccoon, the next morning it was gone. What it did was catch underneath the handle. And by doing that, it kept this cable tight and the uh, arm would not lock the door down and the raccoon just pushed the door open and walked out. If you do modify your trap, you can also store your trigger mechanism right there. You just got to remember not to try and set it with it set up like that to get it out of the way. Also down here, if you need to clean it, you can actually pull this out. You can go ahead and clean it, wipe it off, and put it right back in. Just tilt it. Get it started in that first hole right there. finally get it in there it'll go out the other side I want to show you some of the additions I've added to this trap first as you know I made this right here to put my string through here for the trap I'll store it right here Also made these little bars right here one for each side what I do with these if I got an animal in here this here will slide through here all the way across and then it can lock in place that will keep the door from opening up accidentally while I'm transporting the animal Okay, as you can see, it locks it down really well. Goes all the way across and out the other side. Definitely don't want a coon getting loose in the truck. That would be really bad. Got one for each side. All I do is stick it in here. And push it back. And it'll stay right there. Got one on this side as well. Like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Thanks for watching.